Welcome back to Trend Plays Barrel Trauma. I made for Goretti, requested a mechanics jumpsuit, so we'll go and grab that for him. And then I'll let him see if that's what he actually wants to wear, because in this mod, the outfits look differently than it does in the, the normal game. So I'll let him pick which one he prefers, but we'll go and don the mechanics jumpsuit during this episode. I also ran into a fairly expensive bug. My intention for this playthrough is to have clearly defined bots such as Engineer 1 with 65 skill points, Engineer 2 with 53 skill points, that are viewers. However, there is a bug in the game and it's probably never been discovered because people probably don't rename their guys after the first couple days of having them. You'll notice that when I hover over Officer Nava, um, it says 50 reputation required. That's actually not what it's supposed to say. It's supposed to say 50 Jovian Coalition reputation required. The reason why this is an issue is if I left click, say, right here, I can rename Ogarati. I can rename Engineer 2. I cannot rename Officer Neva because this reputation required, because that is a non existent faction, I don't meet the requirement to recruit this person or interact with them in any way, I suppose. That is what happened to our previous security officer. So she was always going to be an eternally named bot masquerading as a person, and I didn't like that. So I took the hit. I fired her. With this button right here. Uh, yeah, fire. And we, I went out, I had to go look around for another female layback security officer. I mean, it took a while to get that. So this one's actually a very strong one because it took me a long while to find one with that exact setup. So I can probably avoid this whole thing by no longer recruiting people of a faction, but then I'm missing out on a lot of powerful people. And and people that we hire from here on out, they would just be always behind the curve. So that's something I'm gonna have to think about, but we probably will go hire people in factions when I have new names. If you want to see me get more crew, <laughs> If you want to see me get more people in my team and get a bigger sub and all that, I will be needing you to leave a comment saying you want in. That kind of adds a really nice dynamic. I'm, I'm turning this, this bug, this negative into a positive, I hope. I'm going to be stuck with five people, two of them bots, if nobody else joins. Many of our storage has been upgraded. This is just my garden there. I, I, two of them died because I was spending a really long time in a space station, substation, and they died of water uh, dehydration. This is my minerals, alphabetized of course, from aluminum to zinc. Then we have, um, well, these are empty containers. This is just my extra oxygen tanks. I didn't want it taking up eight per, uh, eight, a stack of eight per tile, so that, that I just shoved it into a storage container. I think that works nicely. The, these are my goodie bags. I've actually had these for a while. I've, I, I actually had them for the first security officer, but we're just going to kind of assume that this security officer we have now is still our first security officer. Think of like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when they keep changing Ant Vi. Is it Ant Vi or Ant Viv? Or when they take Harry Potter and change to Dumbledore. Th that's what this is. Anyways, but recently I've been upgrading it to a storage container because I've been getting a few extra. I've also been getting some welding tools. That's what has been added, but normally it's just this stuff here. Bandage, diving mask, oxygen tank, flashlight, screwdriver, and wrench. Oh, and this is a bag. This, there's, there's a very similar one in the helm control area. The underwater scooter, handheld sonar, and plasma cutter. The purpose for that is so that way the captain can immediately just run out there and go do whatever it needs to be done. I have learned a bit about mining um, since we last met. While I was going around trying to level up my characters, just looking for the security officer, for example, I would let the other characters take a turn at the helm. And I would skirt the bottom of the seabed trying to just find anything. So I was paying really close attention to certain discrepancies in the sonar. I'm actually not sure if there's going to be anything 
back this direction. It's not really my intention to go back this far, but I am looking for anything peculiar. All right, it looks like it just kind of opens up there. So we'll just keep moving forward. Um, so I have picked up some tricks about mining. I'm sure that anybody who's a veteran already knows all of these, but if you are new to the game, like me, yeah, it would help you to be able to recognize what you're looking for in this sonar. While we move forward, let's go ahead and really quickly get Ogaretti's mechanic suit. Okay, so this is what he looks like now with the boiler suit. With the mechanic suit, he looks like this. All right, so we see this little crisscross thing, the unusual distortion pattern. That tells me that we should investigate. We got some bogeys coming in. We'll try to finish them off before we hop out. All right, so we're gonna get our uh, our submarine turned back around. Area is secure. We don't want to hop out while there's anything hostile. And we're gonna park on this seabed right here, mostly because we don't have any guns underneath. So we're just gonna use the the terrain to our advantage. So our forward gun's going to be pointing into the chasm, making sure that nothing tries to turn our divers into a tasty snack. Operate, steering, and maintain position. Yeah, so everybody's had a bit of a turn at the helm, making sure that we are having good stats and everything. So I, I believe in cross-training our crew, especially if it's going to be a small crew. Um, please make sure to help out if you want to see our crew prosper. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just shove the things that we probably won't need, welding tool, wrench, and screwdriver, and swap tool belts. Grab the diving suit that I left in the helm area. So this is not the uranium ore, by the way. This is just a cavern that allows me to get more resources. And what I'm really doing is I'm trying to find titanium so that I can make ballistic fiber. Generally, that's all the treasures in one end. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to search the far wall. So that way, when I completely loop around, I'll run right into my sub. This green cloud, you'll hear it hissing as I pass through. What's going on there is it's eating my oxygen faster. Now, I don't yet have enough batteries spare to include that in my everybody's equipment set. But as long as I move with a purpose, I should be okay, at least in this beginner area. This is not even my quest. This is just extra stuff. I'm trying to find titanium for ballistic fiber. I do have titanium alloy, but that's, I think, a different item. Plants you just click on. It might be hard to tell if it's a plant or not, but when you click on it and if it's not budging, that means you just need to plasma cutter it. Sometimes you'll I'll enter some sort of riptide, I'm not sure if that's the correct word, where I'm being pulled alongside something.
generally what you do with these is you just uh, sell, uh, scrap it in the deconstructor and then you get something about like three times whatever you harvested in terms of the resource that you can benefit from. I know that was really vague, but for example, this uh, fiber plant, that's probably worth nine organic fiber. I mean, it's not an exact number, but it's probably around there. I like to think I'm doing pretty decently for a newbie at the game. Okay, that's all full. But we'll keep looking. As we, I can always dump some of these resources or make another trip in. But for now, let's see if there's anything worth going back for. Well, I'll just follow this order, and then I'll know I have mapped everything. At least that's the way I assume. I don't know if that will hold true once we go into more advanced areas, but since I parked my submarine right in front of the chasm on this side, there's no way I can miss it. <laughs> I will get there. Dude stuck or something. Oh, he's stuck in the leak. That's interesting. Okay, well, let's go and put the plasma cutter up for now. I want to go and just weld that before something else happens. And then we'll take care of it. Alright, let's take a look at our inventory. So we're going to move all of these gems into this briefcase for now. Probably won't need the welding tool. Come on, open up. Cutter. Get some fresh batteries and all this stuff while she maintains. Hopefully the AI takes care of that for me. If not, I'll have to pick it up later between between rounds. Yeah, oxygen, plenty of oxygen takes that if I just click the right button. Stage fright. I'm not sure stage fright is the right word. I guess. Performance anxiety? I don't know. It's also four in the morning for me. Okay, he's ready for his next trip. Yeah, if you see that little distortion riptide or something, it, it, that told me to look there for resources. Not the best timing. <laughs>
so we'll just continue to surf along the seabed. I don't think I'll find any more caverns, it's probably just one per map or something. But I will say that because of the way my guns are set up, I don't have a lower gun yet. The original security officer was something like 5,000. This higher version of the, this more elite version of that officer is something was something like 8,000. That crew member costs quite a pretty penny, and I'm sad that we can't rename her any further. So hopefully the game hatches that or something. That would be nice. I don't have to worry about it. But for the time being, I think I think it kind of presents an interesting um, caveat. Most people probably, most people just want to be left alone. Like nobody really wants to come and say like, hey, I'll join your crew. What if it really impacted the game? What if my crew size was limited based off of your participation? Not because I'm trying to be a troll, but because I don't want to hire, I don't want to, I don't want to pay twice for a person. Can't really hire or name anybody until you get them. All right. Autopilot, stay here, and actually let's go ahead and active sonar real quick to make sure that the attention gets brought to the submarine and not to... Yeah, that might be. I just sort of work under the security of this gun. Nothing says you're safe like hiding right underneath a cannon that's bigger than your head. I'm trying to pick up that tight. Jeez, game. All right, that should probably be my last trip out, but we'll go ahead and leave ourselves as that for the time being. You go ahead and work on other stuff, and I'll pilot. might hop out to say harvest an enemy since I now have an understanding of what slim swim bladders are good for and such like that nice quick warm up Let's see how many more missions we can get done this episode now we're at a research facility. That's good, because some of the things that I may have helped myself to in terms of acquisitions was um, unidentified alien matter or something. So that's when I, that's where I, I think this is the item I get. I would dissolve or um, deconstruct the swim bladders and get stabilizone. I'm not sure I probably didn't say that right. I need to go get the alien matter too. And I'll probably need to get some whatever this is.
What you got for me? Fertilizer? I mean, that's worth uranium. Which, I think a single uranium would give me a renewal on my fuel core? Fuel rod? So that's not a bad price, actually. I just salvage the fertilizer, I can essentially get a fuel rod out of it. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, no thoriums, thorian, whatever that's called. Uh, what else are we looking for? Uh, there was no titanium either. Oh yeah, I was looking for the uh, sonar thrusters, but I didn't see that. There it is, underwater. How many handheld sonars do I have? Maybe you don't have... Okay, well I'll assume that I only have the two handhelds on ours, so... So we'll go and get... Do I need two underwater scooters? I mean... I don't really take the bots with me, because it's... It's a harrowing experience, so I, I, I think two is enough for now. Alright, I've never done this before. I mean, I've seen these stations around, but I wanted to save this for when uh, footage was rolling. Apparently that's not that. I don't know what this is. This could just be trash. Use caution. Sure. Receiving physical damage makes the subject gain 6% of vigor. You've obtained a vial of identified alien genetic material. You can use it with a gene splicer. Combine it with genetic material of the same type in a research station to refine it and boost its effectiveness. Use it with a gene splicer. Combine it with material of the same type. Refine it. Okay. So, okay. Alright, I think I understand that last bit. Or combine it with a genetic material of different type to combine their effects. Alright. So since I stole all of these from the same research station, I wonder if they're all exactly the same. No, they're different. Receiving physical damage makes the subject gain 5% hyperactivity. Makes the subject's physical injuries heal at a rate of 13% per minute. Wow, I like that. Causes the subject to grow spineling like bony protrusions out of their back. Okay, I'm gonna have to practice this gene splicing stuff. Open! Uh, you do not sell a gene splicing thing. You do sell morphine, but I have 43 of it apparently, so I don't need that. It's mostly because I keep finding opium everywhere, including harvesting it from the seabed. I'm able to produce a lot of morphine. I guess we're done here. You got anything for sale? Yeah, we only have the two handouts on our sonars. Okay, uh, let's see what happens when I try to deconstruct this thing. Nothing. I don't know what that is. This would give me... Apparently only one phosphorus and one iron each. Potassium? No, it was magnesium I needed. I was thinking of something else. Alright. None of these are something that we need right now, and I'll smelt these down. Actually, we'll just do it now, and through the magic of editing, it'll be done. Okay. Um, we got a bunch of these little powders, and all of these minerals from that one trip. Also, 
a lot of organic fiber, which we're going to go ahead and use to create the safety harness. We need two rubber duckies, one steel bar, and two organic fiber. A special harness made to reduce workplace-related injuries incurred on European submarines. The harness also dampens the effects of rushing water, stabilizing the user in the event of a hull breach. Alright, through a time lapse, we have that immediately. 90% less lacerations, 90% less burn, 75% less stun. Cool. And it goes on the outer wear. Alright. Interesting look. Let's head to the next location then. Scotty's Cauldron. Bristling with activity and no shortage of supplies. It's also a European colony, which is good, because this means that I get better prices. So if I were to upgrade subs or buy things, I'd want to do it here. Now, from what I can tell, you do get helm skill even if your helmsman is autopiloting. You can't just you can't set the computer to autopilot and then leave it alone, though. That won't give you any helm skill. There's our pit. Go and touch down on the bed. You take back over. Three, one. I wave like that so I can have my light cover more area. Or instead of oxygen thieves in the form of green gas this time around, we have spiky blades. You can shoot them and they'll go away. The, uh, the water is making me swim, uh, float, not float. The water is pushing me upwards, so I have to keep pressing down and against the wall in order to maintain detachment range. And once you fall out of detachment range, you lose all progress. Not that it makes any sense, but whatever. Did I miss that one or did it grow back? Ah. Just when I thought I was going to be able to detach it normally. But the water is still pushing me. Alright, let's go back and grab that. Well, I have yet to encounter um, a cavern where the loot was in more than one different spot 
that might just be something that only happens in low difficulty areas. Perhaps it gets more strewn about and the cavern gets larger on higher difficulties. It's just a guess. But yeah, I like to bring the handheld sonar with me so I know where the submarine is, and I like to park the submarine in such a fashion that if I just follow the one of the walls completely, I will end back up at the submarine. I mean, sure, I can just head there. I know where it is, but this is really essentially foolproof. I've got two different ways to get back home. Use autopilot to get our vessel up to speed. I have a little bit more understanding about power and load, but I have almost no knowledge about electrical engineers. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. I think it just shot a harpoon at my boat. It's fine. Still on autopilot. We're still good. I forget that when I'm holding a suitcase that clicking on a number ends up just shoving it in the suitcase instead. Even if it's a one-handed item. So for example, if I hit three, which is a wrench, just puts it in there. I don't know if there's a way I can really equip it. Let me try equipping the wrench first and then take that. Nope. Yeah, it's just you suitcase or nothing, I guess. All right. Okay, looks good down there. Yeah, one of the shots of the harpoon, I, when I thought I had the welder equipped or something, I think I just shot that outside the ship. That's fine. I get, I got still, I still have tons of harpoons. <laughs> Alright, this needs to go back to Officer Neva. There you go.
little bit too fast. By the way, as far as I know, you don't actually use up any power while you're in the station. Um, I was at 14% for like three or four hours while I was in the station. I have been able, I have been in the station so long that I was able to run out of oxygen at one point. I think I know how to do that in a consistent manner too, so if there was a station I really didn't like, I could probably starve everyone of oxygen on it. Ah, oh, that was a really long load time. An announcement comes over the PA. Calling the crew of the vessel that just docked. Please report to administration immediately. Well, I was actually going to go get myself healed up, but okay. You're going to be buttheads about it. Oh. Well, she probably just... <laughs> she treated me, I guess. I, I saw it, but normally they, they say that and nothing ever, ever happens. There's this especially mean monster terrorizing the caves near here. I put a little reward aside for the crew that takes it down. Oh, that's just... That's just a normal mission. <laughs> um... Okay, that probably was not who I was supposed to find for the dialogue. An old man in an expensive-looking uniform walks up to you and shakes your hand. Ah, there you are. I was starting to wonder whether the PA system worked. Anyhow, it's a pleasure to meet you. I heard your crew was heading this way and had to come and meet you in person. If you can spare a moment, I'd like to propose you something. I'm sorry, who are you again? Ah, excuse my manners. It's not every day I get to meet a national hero like you. Ignatius May, the captain of internal affairs of the Europa Coalition. We've been keeping an eye on your crew's accomplishments for some time now. In fact, many of the missions you've undertaken were commissioned by me. On behalf of the Europa Coalition, I'd like to extend our utmost gratitude to you and your crew for your service. Thank you, sir. Might I ask what this proposition is you mentioned? Straight to business, eh? Huh? I like it. To cut to the chase, I'm looking to join your crew. It's been a long time since I've seen some real action. Your crew's endeavors have made me itch to get back out there. To really get my hands dirty and do something tangible for the Coalition. We'd be honored to have you with us, sir. Fantastic. I'll meet you on board. Wonder if I can rename him. That's kind of a, and sh and if I can't, should I even keep him? I was about to steal that one right in front of the guy because I was too distracted by, by that question. Should I keep him or not? Let's see if we can rename him. For starters, just close the door myself. I have a habit of doing that. I've never, I have not yet seen this layout, but <laughs> there we go. Okay, we can rename Ignatius May, a, a professional security officer. Wow, look at those skills. All right, so what better bait is there, right? Look at that. Don't you want to be Ignatius May? <laughs> it's also got some or talent points. I'm thinking that we'll have Officer Neva be Gunner because I, I try to have the first person. I'm trying to have the first person be a recipe person to represent. Like this person knows the, all the all the tricks of the trade, knows all the information. They're, they're the leader of the group. They know the best. And then the others that come in will be other more specific roles, such as Enforcer or Frogman, which is like a pirate or something. Let's see here. Um, Officer Neva is already on the gunner path. I mean, it's not really gunner path. Um, she has recipes. SMG magazine, riot shotgun. Uh, I that's This is where I wanted magnesium. I can't make bullets without magnesium. So I was, uh, what, that and titanium, this is where I decided to really pick up uh, the, the ability to learn how to, as a player, dive and find resources on the seabed. Since she's going to be our gunner, we'll probably make him something like our enforcer or frogman. I'll have to kind of think about that. I'll also take your uh, input as an influence. For example, Bogoretti, I first gave him safety first. And then when he la later leveled up a second time, I gave him machine maniac because he says he's a diesel engineer in real life. So, yeah, I mean, I, I might have picked something else like salvage crew or something, but I thought that was pretty fitting. I liked it. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the base. That's not... summon the other player so that <laughs> they'll run to the med bay and I don't have to worry about it. There you go. They'll, they'll take a nap there. And we'll have the others join me. So Mr. Internal Affairs is going to help me pilfer anything that looks of interest. I know I didn't really spend much time stealing on the other areas, but that's because I was recording and you probably didn't want to see that. Maybe you do. I figure if I do it every time, it'll get stale and tiresome. What if I, you know, this is a colony ship and it's kind of funny to have the Internal Affairs guy help me steal everything. Here we got the cultists, the zombie cultists, essentially. Husks are basically space zombies. Wait, that's this is the way out. I remember approaching the HR manager for friend right. Wow. Okay. Oh, good, <laughs> good job, Mister Internal Affairs. I probably have too many fuel rods, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm going to need another FPGA circuit for something. I forget what it was, but I was trying to plan out my construction. I would like it a lot better if the fabricator immediately automatically used your submarine resources. Like the game automatically, the game definitely tells what, what your resources are because you can click on submarine. Um, you have an item finder. There's all sorts of stuff that the game can do. I know that there's a door there, but I want to finish checking out this room. Jeez, all three of them. Riot helmet. I think that would be good. It, it doesn't give me the weapon skill upgrade, but now that we have two officers and two guns, I can give this to to our mechanics. Because you're li more likely to get lacerations doing mechanical engineering. I like how the dude just sort of watched me do all of that and has nothing to no response. We already investigated you. I think we probably did. Yeah, I, you're you're out of fuel rods.
I'm just looking to see if there's anything that jumps out at me. Specifically titanium, but not, nothing yet. Maybe that's not an actual thing, but I, I thought that's what it said when I was trying to fabricate ballistic fiber. I don't think it said titanium alloy. I think it did say something else. I don't see anybody. It's very possible I could get this. Yeah. All the guards are probably stuck on that one ladder. On a random save or attempt, I just wanted to see what would happen. Uh, apparently the guards have assault rifles. <laughs> They'll generally baton you if you're just stealing stuff, but man, if you really piss them off... Yeah, that she's gonna see that. Okay. Um, I guess I'll chase him. I don't know. I'm really curious what's going on with this guy. I'd like to put up my needles first. You see some separatists creating their trademark on an unsuspecting trash can. I didn't do that for any beliefs or anything. I just did it because I am trying to build up my reputation with everybody. That they broke their legs falling. That happens a lot while they're following me, but I have them follow in case I need the extra help distracting people. Or maybe there's a random event where there's a fight going on and I'd like to have the backup. I mean, it looks like an interesting place, but there's nothing you can do with it. So I feel not really cheated, but I feel like that was a waste of my time. <laughs> 